original plan for today's video was for me to take this nice pile of yarn and get it wound up and start swatching for some new projects with you. And then I realized my craft room is a huge mess and I don't have the space to do that right now. So now today's video has turned into cleaning my craft room with me and then maybe we'll get to these projects. We'll see. So I think we'll start with this. I am not so great at not putting my needles away when I finish a project and just creating a nice big pile and then putting them away when I've got like 20 of them. So I think we'll start there. <laughs> me or every time I look for the numbers etched on these things like the needle size I can never find them oh there it is I have to spin them around like a solid probably two or three times and check each needle two or three times before I can find it I kind of wish there was a way to etch it a little darker or that maybe they do it on both needles instead of just one. Also really desperately need to catch up with my notes in my knitting journal and this is probably a good time to do it because then I can get some of these scraps I have kicking around everywhere put away um, but I should get this sweater off my desk I don't know why I've had this laying on my desk I guess I took some measurements of it for the knitting journal so that's probably part of it but this needs to be put away I also have my which I guess you haven't seen on the podcast yet either of these or no I did show the gardergan last time this is not a gardergan dear lord <laughs> I had to wake up really early today this is my graffret raglan um but I also just finished up my warp and weft and it's blocking on the floor I think it's dry so I can take measurements for that and get the tester notes sent in for that so many things I have to do <laughs> this room oh my gosh you're only seeing part of what's going on in here and I'm really good at hiding it in videos because it's usually piled around the floor around me so yeah okay well well yeah it's pretty much dry so there's my warp and weft it maybe needs a wee bit more so I think I'll flip it over while I'm doing some of these other notes and then hopefully it'll be dry by the time I'm done because it's really not that bad at all but I'm excited to try this on now that it's blocked. I also realized this is like the first full-on vlog type video I've done. Like I tried to do vlogmas um, years ago and it just really wasn't my thing mostly because my days are not that busy uh, but I don't know we'll see. I might talk lots. I might um, end up just doing, what's, what's the word I'm looking at? Like sped up videos of me doing stuff? Who knows? Um, let's see what doesn't have, those aren't done. So I think, okay. Do I have the yarn up here for, yeah. My heirloom quilt cardigan is going to be fun because of how many different yarns I had in this thing that I now want to take like a little sample of and tape it into my book. 
Um, and that, oh, where's my oh, the tape's in here? But I think if I just cut a little piece of everything, like a couple inches, it won't be so bad. This book is just going to be quite thick as it is because there's so many samples of yarn in it. But that's kind of my favorite thing about my knitting notebook is that I just have a memory of every single I just have a memory of every single bit of yarn that I used. Because if I gift something and then the scrap just goes straight into my scrap bin, then I'm not gonna remember maybe. My memory's decent actually with this sort of stuff, but I'm not gonna fully remember everything, so this is nice in a way. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't have it up here with me right now, my heirloom quilt cardigan. I'll have to go grab it so I can, I guess I can finish the notes downstairs. I just have to, I want to have measurements of the chest circumference, because I do like the chest circumference that it came out to be. And so it would be nice if I just had that noted in here. And then later on down the line, if I want to make something the same size, I have a note of it. So yeah, this is nice to get done with. I don't know about you, but I'm the type of person who is so much more productive if I'm like on FaceTime with a friend or I have a friend here to help. They don't even have to help, but just to sit beside me, I guess is the best way to put it. And this kind of, in a way, feels like that. So that's kind of fun. Maybe I do need to vlog more often because I can just ramble to a camera and it kind of works the same way. The other fun thing I'm going to have to do with this yarn is because I was using it double, I was pulling from the inside and outside of these cakes and I took all the ball bands out and now I have to remember what ball band goes to what thing. Oh, I'm out of tape. Well, that's not ideal considering this is what I wanted to do. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I gotta figure out what ball band goes with which cake of yarn. Because I do want to have that back in place before I put them back into my scrap bin. There's that. So that's good. Okay. Let us figure out what is what. Okay, so I was gonna put the yarn away. Don't mind my light. Maybe I'll move that, actually. I was gonna put my yarn away, which goes in baskets and drawers in here, but then there's this situation. So, I think we have to deal with this first, and then I can put the yarn away, which means getting them all up there. <laughs> I should maybe grab a stool, and then we can do that. Before we get started there, I also realized I have these that I've never put away, which technically go in these clear bins that need to be put up. So I should put those away first. This is a never ending cycle, honestly. I also feel like I've used this room to quite maximum of its potential. So if you have any organizing ideas, let me know. I think I might need to get another Alex shelf for in the closet maybe or I don't know I really don't know I could do more on this wall and move this over there but I don't know if my husband wants to drill more holes in the wall so there's that but who knows and then I still have the yarn out from the dream knitting video I filmed like two or three weeks ago that needs to be put away so there's that. These, by the way, oh, this one still has a tag, even better, are like my favorite thing ever from Target. 
they have all sorts of different sizes but then I can put the yarn in them and still like see everything I just feel like it's perfect <laughs> Also, I don't know if anyone else is interested in making the Traveler's Hoodie by Andrea Mowry at some point, but goodness it needs a lot of yarn. I guess part of it probably has to do with the hood, but that's all for one Traveler's Hoodie, which seems like a lot. I've never really done a video where I've had to move the camera around so much either, so that's interesting. But, uh, we'll see. This is crooked. Better. Okay. Let's put these back up. Just wait, I'll probably have to pull them down again at some point. But, you know. I think I'm missing one of those. Who knows? Okay, so that means I can put away some of these scraps now. Oh, I need this for my knitting journal. Okay. So the way I sort my scraps is all by color family, kind of, sort of. Um, which is kind of why I want another Kellogg shelf because I want to be able to put some more of these baskets because this little drawer thing doesn't hold as much. Yeah, because uh, when I try to put anything in the neutral drawer, it's very stuffed. So I think, what is this doing here? Uh, I think I need to come up with a different system. I really like the um, Billy shelves and they're not super thick like wide but they look like they hold yarn really great they're from Ikea and um okay, what is this <laughs> I feel like one of those might be great in here um maybe along this wall or even that wall oh hmm I could move some stuff around in here if I moved See, now we're thinking too far in the future. If I move that calyx shelf in here, and then the desk over, I could put a billy there. Hmm. I also need somewhere to put all my sweaters. <laughs> That's also part of the problem here. Okay, let's see. Um, this I'm not dealing with today. This is scrap yarn that I have pulled for my northeasterly. The northeasterly bin is down there too, overflowing. That needs somewhere to go. I'm not gonna deal with that right now. Nope, nope, I'm not. Um, what's in here? This is my failed attempt at starting a Florencia. And we all know that ain't gonna happen at this point. So, slightly disappointed I wound this up, but I'll find something else for it. This needle can go away, that can get recycled. And then this bag can get put away. See, I told you I'd find more needles too. I knew it. I knew it, I knew it. This yarn can get put away. This is from my leaf. I knit this leaf too long. We've talked about that, I think. I guess I could use this yarn for in my journal. That would be useful. And then the rest of these can get put away and I have the bag back for one of the new projects. Okay. I think we're 
done with the closet for the time being. I need to find more tape. I think we're good to go to work on the journal some more. My brain is really spread. I don't know. It's, I'm going to have an interesting time editing this. I think we'll leave it at that. But, okay, I still didn't bring that up to measure. What's, what's next? That's done. That's done. Marigold tea. I don't know where the uh, cream color that I used on that went, but I can put this in there for now. I didn't even finish putting away the yarn for my <laughs> from the heirloom quilt. All those scraps over there, they're still sitting here. Oh dear. Okay, I better do that quick now that I've cut that. And then we'll get back to the journal, actually. Also, if you haven't noticed, this room is not large in the slightest, so... I don't know how I fit stuff in here sometimes, but I make it work. Okay, that's all I can do with that for now. Same with that. I think we're going to abandon that. My <laughs> Manhattan hat that I cast on in that really bright pink is just not gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> I think it was supposed to be a gift for a friend, and I think I'm going to instead just make like a scrunchie or something out of it something a little bit quicker. Um, I also don't know if she would even wear a hat in that color, which is kind of the other reason why I think I'm going to abandon it, because it's just so bright. Like, it is her favorite color, but I don't think she would wear a full hat in it, so that's going to go. Mayberry. Notes are done for this, but I hadn't put swatch in it yet, so we can do that. That's done Brooklyn. Where is the yarn for my Brooklyn Raglan? Hmm. Aha. Okay. Maybe this is just how I have to do things all the time. Um, I just drew on my desk with my pencil. Um, maybe this is the way I have to do things all the time because I feel like I'm accomplishing quite a bit right now, quite a bit. Okay, I wanna pull a bit of this because it's got so many different colors in it and I wanna try and catch some of those different colors. That still feels like a ton, but that's my empty tape. That was all that was needed for the Brooklyn Raglan. I realize right now you can't even see my book. Okay, uh, there we go. Okay, now that you can actually see my book, Marigold Tea's done. Minus wherever that cream is. I'll find that later. Man in the Manhattan hat. Maybury Cardigan's done. Brooklyn Raglan's done now. Let's see. Warp and weft. Let's put this away first. Okay, so I actually want to measure my warp and weft and maybe actually do my test knit notes at the same time. So, let's pull out my computer. Did I not say I would have more needles to put away? Because I do. So, I need to do some math first. Oh, no, let's go in the order of these questions because I'm going to get super lost otherwise. Final garment gauge. Okay. I can't remember 
remember what the row gauge was, but for sure 20 stitches. And I got 20 and a half, so that's not bad. I had 24 and a half. Total main color. Okay. This is where we have to do math. So I used up two full skeins of the main color. And this is all I have left of the final one. So... Weigh that three grams. Okay, so each skein was about 105 grams times three is 315 grams. 315 minus three grams is 312, and every yard in a skein of worse it is 2.18 yards so if I do 312 times 2.18 I used 680.16 yards contrast color 59 left so uh, 315 minus 59 Sleeves from underarm to wrist. Seventeen inches. Um, I need mods. I cannot think of any mods. So that means, now that all that's done and submitted, my test center is done and I can take photos of this because that's the final thing I have to do. But we will put some of these notes into my knitting notebook and some little pieces of the yarn so I have a swatch. And that's done, which was not something I was expecting to do today. So that's good. Okay, work and left is done. Rest is still working on leaf. I don't have measurements for that yet, but I can put some swatches in there. I swear I had cream somewhere. That's weird. Hmm. We can add that in later. I guess I technically over the cream, actually. No. I'm not gonna put this in there at all because I over dyed everything. So I will just take some of the ends, when I weave in the ends and put them in here. So that means I'm caught up on my journal, which is exciting. These can all, my scraps from Microfret and my warp and raft can all go in my my yarn bin. And I also need to put away my blocking mats. So again, I just use another bin from Target. I had them on a shelf at one point, but it was a nuisance. So this bin works pretty good. I think right now it's about time for a lunch break and then we'll come back and keep keep working away actually before we have lunch 
I probably sound like I'm dying because I just walked down a really long driveway. But I just had a package come in from Twice Sheared Sheep. I learned that they have row counters that are made for knitting flat, which I didn't realize. So I ordered a pair because I knew I was going to need it for one of my test knits. So let's open it. So I got myself another round one, and then I also got a flat, odd and even row counter. But first of all, I'm not even a huge cat person, but look at that. Is that not adorable? And then the flat one has a bumblebee and a ladybug. So these can go in some of the new projects. Now I'm gonna eat lunch. While I was gone and I had my lunch, I am a simple lunch person. I love just some toast or an English muffin with some eggs on it. And I'm happy. So that's what I had, now I'm back. And yeah, I think I'm gonna wind up some yarn. So this, the first project we are winding up yarn for, to swatch for, is the Alder sweater test knit from Rebecca Klo. Um, this here is going to be my main color. This is from Explore Knits and Fibers Leave No Trace collection. I looked up at one point what I thought this was, because she doesn't label any of her Leave No Trace yarn. Um, and I can't remember what it was. It's definitely not from the, what is this collection? Was it just the ice cream collection? It's definitely not from whatever this collection was and whatever these ball bands were. They were just using up um, extra ball bands from what I understand. Um, so that's the main color. And then my contrast color is going to be my coveted Moonstone from Explore Knits and Fibers. I realized when I was pulling out all the yarn for the next couple test knits I have coming up that I've literally picked Explore Knits and Fibers for all of them. So that's kind of funny. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really excited to wind this up um, and be able to start the swatch. I'm not gonna swatch until I get the rest of the room clean, but I thought treating myself to winding some yarn might be fun, so that's my plan. Um, I think I'll just wind up maybe two, or no, I should just do one of each for now to make sure that it's going to work, and then I can wind up more later once the swatch is blocked, but yeah. talk about what happened there with this game. That was a mess and I know exactly why it happened. Um, it was all because I started pulling at this skein of yarn the wrong direction off of my swift and because I'm short on space on this table it made a mess. But that's okay. Those are wound up. That's exciting. Okay what do we have here? Um, well these need to go downstairs so a whole bunch of tea in here that my lovely friend Carson sent me and for some reason it made its way up here by accident and now it's just been sitting up here so this needs to go back downstairs. Now these socks I have um the whole Wallberry Fiber Co sock sets from the whole set of them from last year and this was the first pair of socks I knit out of those and I have them in here because the plan was to continue knitting socks out of the rest of them and then I've been distracted by sweaters lately. I think I'll still keep them in here though because I like having everything all in one bin. And eventually I would like to use like the rest of this yarn to make a blanket or something. So I think they can stay in here, but they need a better place to go. I'm gonna leave that for now, but those can stay there. Let's see what's in this bag. Yes, this is... Remember when I did that whip down video and I pulled out a bunch of projects? I have a couple here that I did that and then I didn't put the yarn away. <laughs> so this was a Remy camisole. 
I'm gonna put this bag away now. And I'm going to rewind these two cakes really quick and put this yarn back into them so that that can go back in my stash. Let's go through the rest of these bags though quick because there might be a couple other things that I can do that with. Um, I don't know what to do with this yarn because, okay, bag can go back for sure. What are you? I've been looking for this. This is a pattern I was testing for Lindsay Fowler. Um, it's now released and it is in 52 Weeks of Socks Volume 2. And while it was very neat and I feel like I learned some stuff, I learned Latvian braid and these things with the drop stitches are very neat. Um, it's something I'd never done before, but I don't feel like knitting the other one and it doesn't fit me that great. I think I knit the foot a little too short. <laughs> There's just a whole bunch of stuff with this. Um, so I don't think I'm going to rip it out cause it's cool and I'm proud that I did it and it can just sit around as a memory. I think we'll put this in, this was the main skein and then there's all these minis. So I think I'm gonna put the minis just in my basket of minis back there that I don't know what I'm gonna use them for, but they're there. And then I'll put this in my scraps. This bag, I know what's in here though. My pressed flower shawl. I haven't torn out yet either. So, I wanna use this bag because this is my bag that I keep all my pins on. And now I have this really nice pile of yarn that I now need to re-cake. Okay, all rewound. I can put them away now. Where I'm gonna put them? I don't know. I guess they're stacking on the shelf too. These are technically my yarn, but I don't make this color anymore. <sighs> Maybe I'll still put it in with my yarn though. I feel like at this point, stuff is pretty well clean. I think, I think I'm gonna treat myself to a swatch. Well, you're gonna get a kick out of this. I <laughs> filmed the whole clip of me knitting this swatch and then went to look at it and my camera was facing the wrong way and I filmed the ceiling. So <laughs> I did start working on my swatch for the alder. I am really, is this focusing? Yeah. I am really, really happy with how this is turning out. I think these two together are beautiful. I'm really excited. So um, I would like to continue swatching outside I think later tonight with my doggo out in the yard. So I'm gonna leave that for now. At least I have the stitch pattern figured out and I'm going to, let's see, I'll pick out a project bag for this and get everything for it in the bag. And then I wanna wind up the yarn for the two other test knits and put them in bags too so that they're ready when I'm ready to work on them. So I think that's the plan. <laughs> chosen bags. I feel like Joshua Tree goes really well in this one. And that is loud. Like I said, I wanted to use the one with the pins. We'll see how, how long I can deal with the jingling, but uh, that's what I put the other one in. Anyways, I honestly just want to go outside and knit with my dog. And I think that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. So, I think I'm going to sign off here. I know this is very different than any other video I've ever put out before, so I hope it kind of interested you. A little bit, maybe. Not at all. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but it was kind of fun for me to film. I don't know. It, we'll, we'll see how I feel once I'm editing it, because that could be a totally different situation. But, um, yeah, I just feel like relaxing. 
And then I gotta make supper soon, and yeah. Nearing, nearing the end of the day, so. Well, not really. It's only four o'clock. Nearing the end of the work day. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully, now I'm just rambling. But yeah, thank you for joining me. And I will see you all next week for a regular podcast video. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It really helps out the channel. Hit that like button and all that fun stuff. And I will see you very soon. Bye. Thank <music> you.